This portion of the show is being brought to you by Gravity. Hey, everybody. Uh, Carl here. And uh, I wanted to bring you a, a quick little video on a, on a subject which is comes up for me every now and then. I thought it might be interesting for you guys, too. You know, sometimes, uh, especially, I suppose, when you're working with... Uh, uh, components like op amps and a lot of your op amps need to have a positive and a negative power source to them uh, so let's say and I, I i covered this in another video at one time i think when i, I forget which op amp i was maybe the 741 or one of those but anyway most op amps operate like that so the power sources, like let's say if it runs on a, on 12 volts, it'll have a, a power, a positive 12 volts coming in on one side and a negative 12 volts coming in on the other. Then the other grounds that are on the circuit go to a virtual ground. So let's say, okay, so that's, that's all well and good if you have uh, a, a, like a power supply that has both, you know, it has several outs where you can set one up for positive, one for negative, uh, run your leads down, run it in, and everything's fine. Uh, like, for instance, me, I have like a real simple uh, bench power supply. It has just, it has one plus and one minus coming in, and that's it. So what do you do? Or let's say you would have a, like, Let's say you only need to run 4.5 volts. Some of your op amps will, uh, it, they'll run like at 4.5, 5 volts, uh, and everything, but, but it has to be a positive and a negative. Uh, you can actually take a 9 volt battery, which I'm going to show you here in a second, and split that and have your 4.5 and 4.5. And then plus you can also have a uh, a virtual ground to go with that. So uh, okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna turn around here. I'm gonna show you a picture of the board I have, and then I'm gonna show it to you as we're looking at it and show you how uh, I've got it set up. Here's a picture of the board. Uh, the way I set it up, uh, and I've got a little bit closer here, and I've labeled everything so you can uh, pretty much see which part is which it's it's really simple it's really easy uh, and that's why I wanted to show you on the breadboard you could set something up like this on a uh, either a project board or you could do a, a printed circuit board and have it permanently set up whenever you needed to use it okay so right here right now uh, on my meter which will uh, will turn on here and I have the uh, the negative connected to the virtual negative on the bottom, right? And then on the top here, I have the positive connected uh, to our positive side. And I'm using a 9-volt battery. And what do we have? Well, something's disconnected here. Okay. We have 4.6 volts. In that because my battery's a little bit over 9, but so we have in its positive, we have 4.6 positive. Now, let's take and move the the positive to the negative side to our blue line. And let's see what we have now. Now we have minus 4.6 volts. So we could technically, we could run the power from the one side. From the blue side, we could run into our negative um, power supply or, or um, power input to our op amp. And then we could run the red to our positive input on our op amp and we would have the power that's required and then we would just the rest of it we would just hook up like we would normally hook up a circuit 
but we would have our power that we need. Now, let me uh, let me show you something here real quick. I have, like I was saying, I have just a regular old uh, power supply. It just has, you know, negative and positive. I can set the amps and I can set the voltage. And I have it set for 18 right now because uh, I was working on my uh, AM transmitter. I'm trying to do a booster thing. but So I had that up and running. And... Uh, what I want to do now is is I want to take my leads, I'm going to take my battery off of here and we'll see if we can okay, give me one second here, I'm going to, uh, let me get this hooked up for us okay, so now I have my my power supply that is set for 18 and I've got the my meters positives on the positive and the negatives on the our virtual negative and I've got 9 volts okay now let's uh, yeah I hate that okay now let me just let me connect the positive to the negative side and now I have negative 9 volts so with just a simple setup here I'm I, I can get a positive and a negative power supply from you know whatever source I have. Uh, why do you? Why is this so important? Well, okay, let's let's talk about it for a second here. I'm gonna let me click this stuff off and I'll flip it around. Hold on. Uh, you don't always you know have to use this just for op amps. There's, there might be other times you might want to use it. it might be working in a uh, in a circuit. Uh, that, you know maybe it has a transformer that maybe you want to. Uh, you need positive and, and negative DC voltage pass at it once it comes in. And by using, you know, you can you can take this method here, and let's say, let's say you're getting uh, 28 volts on your secondary coming in, and and you've uh, and you've got it in DC now, and you've got it smoothed out, and let's say you need 12 volts positive and negative well you know you can get like I think there's 78 12 uh, is a voltage regulator uh, that for you know for positive and I think 79 12 uh, you have to look it up I mean you look them up and I think they've got like 78 15 78 9s so you can you know you can get the voltage regulator you want but this way with like the, with the 78 12 you could run okay you got 28 you split it up now you got 14 but that's a little too much so you run the the positive 14 through your voltage regulator and now you've got a good positive 12 you run the negative 14 through your negative regulator now you've got a negative 12 that you can use you know and you can do this with 5 volts or whatever you need uh, the, the reason I just wanted to show you is that because sometimes you know we don't a lot of us don't have bench uh, power supplies where you have both the positive and the negative and sometimes you need a little bit more than what we have for our batteries so I thought this would be like a handy dandy little thing and probably most of you know our know this already and um, you've probably used it before but I'm thinking there might be a few people out there that actually uh, you know, run into a problem where maybe they'd want to build something and they go, well, I, you know, I don't have the negative uh, side to do this. And with this little system here, and like I said, I posted on the video here, somewhere in here, uh, a, a, a picture of the actual uh, board that I made. It's, it's very, very simple. Uh, it's, it's crazy simple is what it is. And, uh, and the main thing you have to remember 
is when you use those resistors, they have to be the same resistors, okay? Now, there might be other techniques to use different ones and, and make things go different. I don't know. I, I, I haven't gone there. All I know is that if I use this circuit here and I put the, like right now I'm using the 10Ks. I got two 10Ks in there. Uh, one feeds a positive, one feeds a negative, and it works great. So, you know, I guess, you know, you can <laughs> use the 10K. I know that works, and I, I know other ones work too. But just make sure that they're the same ones. And once you have that, you have uh, you have positive and, uh, and and negative voltage that you need. I I hope this helps you a little bit. I'm trying to keep this as quick as you know, short as possible. And uh, it's just something I thought up, and I thought you know I'm going to share this. And um, you know if you have any more questions about it, you know leave leave a comment and uh, you know let me first of all let me know what you think. I always enjoy that. I always love hearing from all of you. And uh, you know, have you have you made any of these? Have you used any of these? Um, so I just, you know, like I said, I thought I'd throw it out there. It'd be kind of fun. I, I was in here working on some stuff, and because uh, I was thinking about using an op amp uh, for a booster for my uh, transmitters. You know, transmitters. Oh, you mean you're actually working on a transmitter? Yeah, some crazy idea. You know, like I've never worked on one of that. I try. You know, <laughs> you know. But anyway. Uh, so I was thinking, you know, I, I need to set up a, a positive and negative, and I got thinking, you know, that'd be something cool to share. So anyway, there you go. All right, you, everybody have a fantastic day. Uh, I look forward to seeing you real soon, and uh, until then, uh, be good to everybody, and take care. Bye now. Uh, let me give you a quick PS on this video. This is a very simple schematic for the very simple circuit that we have here. I didn't really show this when I gave the images earlier uh, of the uh, breadboard on the bench. So you you know you can do it any way you want. But this is how it works, and it's just that easy. Just remember, if you want equal voltages, make sure those uh, resistors are equal. Because we got a voltage divider there, right? Okay. All right, everybody. Take care. Bye.